Hello, this video is about the scare model. Um, human beings are programmed to avoid threats and, um, and you know, get close to rewards. So we, we you know, try and avoid danger and we try and get more chocolate cake. Um, and often these um, actions are, are quite involuntary, or, or at least they're, they're ones that we have some difficulty controlling because the, the programs that we have are part of our unconscious thinking processes. So these are the programs that give us uh, vertigo if, we, if we're scared of heights or can make us um, scared of dogs or um, they can uh, you know, cause us to you know, eat too many chocolates or, um, or drink too much wine or, um, or, or they can cause our children to, to come home from school uh, and say, uh, you know, Daddy, my, my teacher hates me. Um, uh, and uh, th this, these are the sort of visceral reactions that we get to the events that, that, um, the, that impact us. Um, and uh, yes, as we grow older, we can control more and more um, uh, these kind of influences, but they still have an impact. And um, uh, when you are trying to collaborate or work with other people, it's really helpful to think about how to avoid causing them to feel threatened and how to encourage them to feel rewarded from the relationship. And then you will get more of the uh, positive feelings and less of the negative feelings. Um, in our brain, we have something called an amygdala, which um, dishes out into the brain negative chemicals whenever the unconscious signaling tells the amygdala that there's a threat um, and that you know, energizes the body to start reacting. Um, equally, we have something called the nucleus accumbens, which when the unconscious signals to the nucleus accumbens that um, there is a reward, you know, there's a chocolate brownie on the table, then it starts putting ke positive chemicals into the brain which cause us to, to want to move towards or, or react positively to that opportunity. So how, when you have um, a working relationship with somebody else, can you use this understanding of the human brain to help you um, uh, avoid threatening them and creating more rewards for them? And there's a model um, that I'm going to talk you through called the SCARE model. And it's SCARE model because what you're trying to do is to avoid scaring the person you're working with. Um, it's based on a model called the SCARF model, which was developed by David Rock. And so please apologize, apologies to David for, um, um, for kind of uh, bastardizing his model. But somehow I think the kind of the SCARE model is, is, uh, is more memorable than the SCARF model. And the scare model has the same five elements as, as David's scarf model, although the last one is, is called equity rather than fairness. Um, but the first is status. So human beings, like all social animals, are very influenced by pecking order. And a loss in pecking order has been proved to have the same impact on, uh, on you and me as, a, um, a, as pain that the same parts of the brain light up when we feel we're losing status in a group. Um, the second is certainty. So we are seeking all the time to interpret the world so that we know what's coming at us and therefore we can react appropriately. And uh, if we are uncertain about what's going to happen, we can be become quite jellified in our reactions to the situation. Um, and, and again, it, it, can, it can come across in our brains as a threat. A lack of certainty can come across as a threat. Um, autonomy. Uh, human beings like to have control over the things that are affecting them. And any sense of loss of control will cause a person to feel threatened um, and start reacting accordingly. The th Fourth is, is relatedness. So this goes back to um, uh, a subject I've covered in a previous video on um, willingness to collaborate. So this is about tribal identity. So if we feel that the people we are interacting with are part of our tribe, are, are people we can trust in a, in a relationship, 
then we feel rewarded and comfortable um, if we feel that they're in any way part of a different tribe or that they're a relationship, um, that we can't trust their good nature in the relationship, we feel threatened and, and react accordingly. And then the last part of this scare model is, is equity. And equity is about fairness. If we feel that we are not being treated equally, we feel threatened. Um, uh, and it's, it's, um, it's a feeling which is very similar to the feeling of disgust. Um, we are we're sort of horrified and disgusted by the fact that we aren't being treated right. So the scare model, if you are working with other people, um, try to make sure that you uh, pull the positive levers on the scare model um, and that you don't uh, trigger the negative, the scary levers. So you don't uh, uh, put at risk their status or make them feel, you don't confuse them and make them more uncertain. You don't uh, uh, threaten their autonomy. You don't um, uh, make them feel uncomfortable in uh, their relationship. And, and you don't make them feel uh, that uh, there's any form of uh, uh, inequity or, or, or unfairness in the relationship. Thank you.